ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's my great honor to be here to uh, talk about the AAC program in South Korea. Actually, I've been uh, in France uh, in Singapore, but I have never uh, toured in Sydney. Every time I uh, spend my time with the conference, uh, dinner, so today's topic is very important for the whole Asian community. We started to be a new uh, study uh, using the GACPR protocol in all the uh, tech terrorist community. Uh, this topic will be presented by Dr. Mark Song. So I would like to show the, uh, uh, my country's experience uh, in GACPR. Uh, 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 I have very limited time to talk, so I will skip for just some national issues because most of them can uh, uh, understand what we are national and issues. Korea is a very small country, and we have divided two countries, and I'm talking about the South Korea, not North Korea. <laughs> so uh, now we have uh, about. The 50 million people living here, and uh, uh, we have a single field intermediate service level of EMS, and we all operated by five departments and single national five departments. And we have uh, 1,400 ambulance uh, stations and vehicles, and uh, we have a uh, county based uh, EMS agencies, uh, five department based, uh, about 185. Uh, we have developed our of hospital cardiac arrest registry. Uh, in previous five years, we our uh, registry is a, a, a kind of operational database. After that, we started to uh, uh, add a more registry uh, to look at the intervention trial for the population. The first phase of uh, uh, registry uh, is uh, using the data source of the EMS run sheet and hospital medical record review, which are done by the Korea CDC medical record review team. They usually visit about uh, 600 or 700 hospital ED to look at the uh, hospital outcome and hospital care options. And most of the projects are supported by CDC and collaborate with the uh, uh, National Emergency Management Agency, which is the National Fire Department Transporter. And after that, we, can, we could find the uh, uh, demographics and outcomes of populations. After that, we started to collect more data for the, uh, the uh, indicators of cardiac arrest uh, the, uh, information from the EMS cardiac registry and the dispatch registry. And uh, these two kinds of registry can make us understand what is going on, what's happening in the field, and we can understand the more uh, uh, situations of our uh, Korean research agencies. This one. And this is a demographics of Korean uh, OECC instance. Every year we have uh, uh, two, uh, 27 uh, or 28 thousand of cases for all EMS assessed cardiac arrest. Among them, about 97% 90, of cases are reviewed by hospital medical record by the Korean CDC medical record team. So we can uh, report the outcomes of the 97% of all uh, cardiac arrest uh, transported by EMS. <coughs> the outcome is not good. For example, 2006, just to 2.6% uh, of our uh, world survived to be charged from hospital. And it, uh, the outcome of the survival increased up to 4.8% for all countries. But the problem is that the, uh, less than half of the survivor showed a good neurological uh, brain outcome. Uh, we think a uh, low survivor due to maybe low vitamin, lower vitamin C rate and low quality and low cost resuscitative care. Uh, most of them were not standardized in, in the past. 
So we decided to put the, another drop for the community to improve, improve the outcomes. The dispatcher also secure first. And second, the whole EMS system should be monitored and analyzed for the quality assurance problem. And third is that we are uh, designing the cardiac center for uh, providing a high quality and more standardized therapy at the hospital. The basic care protocol was implemented like this uh, pattern in 2011. It, the protocol was implemented in Seoul and extended the whole country in 2012. Now, every community has the uh, same protocol and same data, same registry. And we train the people, people focus on the implementation of protocol after that one year, and we standardize, we provide standard uh, research training program in Seoul, and it was expanded for all countries. And we started the standard PACK registry in Seoul, and then expanded to whole country. And audio review by the uh, Audio, audio tape review by the uh, medical director uh, started in Seoul and it extended to the whole country. <laughs> now we are starting to develop the APRs, which is a new term, uh, American Heart Association uh, basic life support training is targeting for the general population. But we think more specific training for the vulnerable population for BACPR, which means the home by standard is not good, it's not effective population for receiving dispatch assistance instruction. They can not usually follow the instruction, so they cannot show the good outcome. So we are developing the new training program for DABLS. It's now we will start in this year, it is a, we will test the outcome. Okay, I will skip uh, many slides. Uh, you know, the, uh, this is a paradigm of the time frame of the uh, uh, CPR, but the practical is a critical point for improving outcomes. Because it takes a time, it, it, the time is, uh, for the vaccine CPR is a very critical point for uh, national of the uh, uh, research station. But the vaccine CPR has many barriers. And people usually has uh, fears about uh, injuring the patients, incorrect CPR, and liver liability, and infectious disease contamination. Mm -hmm. So we have developed, many experts have this first and testing and uh, do, uh, did research and conclude the two key points. It's very important to screen the patient who will be potentially cardiac arrest. So, Unresponsiveness and not normal breathing is the key point of the uh, detect the uh, patient with cardiac arrest by telephone. So this kind of uh, another another thing is uh, uh, hands-on CPR is also effective for spreading CPR to the whole community and it can make a more better outcomes in the community. In particular, uh, in community with low but low bicep CPR rate. And also, we decided, we accepted this concept uh, uh, model for CPR training, so the all bystanders need just only uh, hands-on CPR. It is enough to complete, enough to, enough to do uh, CPR for improving uh, outcomes in a uh, low person uh, CPR community. So, uh, we have developed uh, accepted uh, BA CPR protocol, and uh, we have only uh, we have 16 provinces, uh, fire department, uh, the, uh, dispatch center, which is all a uh, centralized system. Every ambulance is dispatched by 16 dispatch centers. So we have very effective model to implement the CPR. So we also people, every people has a telephone. Every every uh, people has a very good smartphone. So. We started to the, the CPR using the telephone. And this is a protocol of my dispatcher system. And we have decided two key questions uh, derived from the previous literature and recommendation from American Heart Association. And this CPR is, uh, looks like a, some, uh, has a, some false uh, positive. Uh, with, uh, the cases with false positive uh, can be injured by the uh, uh, 
inspector assist uh, by some CPR. But the, the report from Seattle uh, is uh, showed that the, the first positive patient usually has no serious injuries, so we can uh, increase to uh, provide the CPR for the people, for the bystanders, uh, for the dispatchers. In Korea, we have started the CPR in 2011, and uh, in a system in Korea, uh, actually the, we have uh, about uh, 1.5 million ambulance transport per year. The Seoul has, uh, has a more uh, complex city, 10 million people living there, and 140 ambulances working for people every year more than 300,000 cases are transported to the hospital. And among them, about 4,000 cases are uh, cardiac arrest. And this is, uh, as I told you before, uh, just only a single program, centralized program. And we have a great uh, chance to get a more res human resource because our health department adds more human resource to each dispatch center. So we have three dispatchers for one call. One is a primary call picker, and second is an ambulance dispatcher. Third is a medical <coughs> control dispatcher. The third public third resource are from the health department. Uh, the people are moving from the health department information center to the Dispatch Center in 2011. So they can do well for carrying phone, the uh, call, and give a uh, pre-arrival instruction for CPR. The primary call dispatcher usually has uh, uh, a two patients. One is uh, it's a victim responsive and uh, it's a victim not breathing normally. After that, most of yes, the uh, call is transferred to the uh, medical control dispatcher. The medical control dispatchers usually supervise the real time medical director in the same place. So uh, they usually give a uh, chest compression with CPR instruction and record all, all uh, dispatchers record their uh, uh, conversation on the uh, designed form for the DNCPR registry. After that, the medical director in each medical dispatcher center usually review the audio page about the 10% and the feedback to the old the dispatcher. So for their performance, for bearing the information and identifying the case and then uh, correct uh, uh, instruction for the CPR. This is the uh, uh, starting of the team CPR in Seoul. We have very low license CPR because people usually do not perform CPR. I don't know exactly, but people do not. So, after that, uh, the survival discharge increased in 2011. It's a, it was down about a 2.4% increase. This is the demographics of the uh, implementation of the uh, CPR. This is the bison CPR rate. Uh, before 2011, bison CPR rate less than 10%. After that, the percent <coughs> increased. 25%, 30%. Now, the Seoul Metropolitan City has about uh, uh, 43 to 48% of ICU CPR. Uh, detection rate is about uh, 47, 49%, which is a kind of uh, uh, rate of the, the people who uh, receive the instruction by the dispatchers among the old OHC. After that, in 2012, all country accepted this protocol for the 16 headquarters of this center. But there are many various uh, variations among the provinces. For example, Gyeonggi province has very low uh, ECR, uh, CPR rate. Even though we took the many things, but the, 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 the system is not working well. But the other provinces show the very good performance for the bison CPR rate. And we reviewed, uh, we have the data for DA CPR registry, so we can analyze the whole segment of the uh, important procedure process of the DA CPR protocol. And for example, current DA CPR from call for ambulance dispatch is uh, about the uh, Seoul uh, uh, 58 seconds, and the Busan is a great city for tour, 
It's a one hundred subject formula. Back in the day, uh, the first time people learned from Kotkin, so I think it's very simple. <laughs> <laughs> so people is very very cool, so they don't need for talking about something like this. So and this kind of variation is very important, but we should standardize and give a more drop for quality assurance. I think. But there are so many changes in opportunity. For example, most of cases in Korea usually occurs in the home. Home is a very important place for kids of Western CPR instruction. But the uh, problem is that the uh, elderly woman usually witness the case. Or most of people, uh, many people living alone. It's a kind of problem. So, <coughs> Uh, this is demographics. Uh, every woman or most of them are family bystanders uh, <coughs> when the people call to the uh, 919, this is the center. So this is a demographic finding of the bystander type. For example, home dispatch assist uh, DACPR group showed a very low survival discharge rate. Compared with the home loan bystander dispatch assist, which means the Self CPR. After uh, he can, uh, he or she can give a CPR, so she, he or she can provide without bystander CPR, uh, in, uh, instructed by dispatchers. So this is very important uh, demographics of the DA CPR program in the world. So we are beside two new uh, intervention programs, <coughs> which was developed. Uh, the name is uh, DA DLS. We usually train and uh, educate people using the very high standard training program on the basis of American Heart Association or European Research and Council recommendation. But there was no recognition of no recommendation for the home bystander special problem. So it is our focus to move our training focus to the home bystanders, which is very important. So we are collaborating with the Leather, which is company, I'm sorry. Leather research, uh, research Station uh, Research Institute and my laboratory to develop a new training program and we will put the program in this June. We have developed a Kiaro's Consortium, Home Education Research Outcome Study Consortium in 2014. We have developed a research in uh, 2013 and we agree with the Seoul Metropolitan Health Department, Fire Department, Research Center, NGO group and hospital group, and then my hospital uh, initiated this whole heroes conversion. And we will uh, uh, perform the new uh, intervention trial to put the new training. What kind of new training? Okay, every people who learn this DA uh, CPR, BRS, you will start uh, to get uh, that. Uh, uh, a core is uh, from the center and the dialogue between person, the caller and dispatchers is very important component of CPR training. And the people who call to a 119 usually uh, listen from instruction and follow up the instruction. And how can you follow up? How can you uh, turn on the speaker phone? How can you move the patient from the bed to the floor? How can you uh, what's the meaning of one, two, three, four? Which is a, a kind of very important rate for CPR. What's the meaning of that? They will usually, this person will talk to you about the depth or rate, or they usually uh, ask you to bring the patient with from the, uh, the bed to floor, or they usually give a number, one, two, three, four. It's a very important component on the basis of the CPR protocol. So people will learn from this kind of different way for uh, understanding the CPR. Because my Metropolitan uh, City usually provide more than 60% of the CPR when people call to the distance center. So we imagine we expect they can follow the protocol and this make a more uh, better, uh, you know, better uh, improved uh, outcomes after this kind of new training program. Okay. Uh, summary, uh, our, our experience is very, uh, uh, very uh, uh, happy uh, for me and all of my colleagues and my people 
So uh, I would like to uh, in, uh, uh, invite you to this kind of a new DAC can work to improve your system. So outcomes for uh, our customer cardiology. Thank you.